Hi and welcome back to our kitchen. Today is a beautiful summer day and what's better for summer than corn on the cob. Now, I've devised five butters, compound, well compound butters is what they call them, and we're going to brush those on the corn. Now I have five ears of corn, I have five butters. So we're going to do a taste test at the end to see which one is the favorite one. So let me show you how to do it. I'm doing all this dairy free. Dairy free means plant butter. And I've fallen in love with the country crock plant butter. This is the olive oil. I have four of those because I had four sticks. And then I had to use almond oil. And uh, because it's in a tub, I looked at the ingredients in a stick of butter. I needed half a cup of um, butter to make one stick. So first of all, here's the Asian one. I've got a tablespoon of peanut butter. We'll see how this tastes. And I've got a tablespoon of soy sauce, a couple drops of sesame oil. Now get the toasted sesame oil. Then I have a pinch of salt. Now pinch, I mean like this. And I use kosher salt because it has half the sodium of your table salt. So we're going to mix this in and see how it mixes with the peanut butter in there. Now this can this has been this butter has melted really good because it's not regular butter. Now I am a butter freak, but I can't have it anymore because my body decided that it wanted to be lactose free so I'm using the plant butter and I'm mixing this in real good it melted more today because it's plant and you're going to end up with a, a brown colored butter and we're going to be brushing this on our corn in the cob. second one honey lemon butter with of course one secret ingredient um, which is very optional and what I did is I took one tablespoon of honey the zest of one lemon the juice of one lemon and if you don't have um, lemons uh, you can't get the zest off of them but you can use the lemon, joy, lemon juice in the bottle and I keep it in your refrigerator that way you always have lemon juice and of course salt pinch one quarter teaspoon of turmeric one quarter teaspoon of pepper those are my secret ingredients now I did some research on how to stay healthy and boost your immune system turmeric combined with pepper does a trick so I'm going to do this this is our second one, the lemon honey butter with turmeric and pepper. It takes a while to mix this in. Now if you're doing this just for, these are just experiments, these are um, taste testing, but if you're just doing one flavor, you can get your, uh, your hand mixer out and blend this up. That's not blending too good, but we'll, we'll go with that. Third one, chili lime. Now, I fell in love with chili lime one year when I was doing corn on the cob. And um, I love the lemon z or the lime zest on, on the corn, along with the chili powder. Now, what I have here is one, table, one teaspoon, teaspoon of chili powder. Now, you can use ancho chili powder the one of your choice I, I like the ancho and then juice of one lime zest of one lime a little bit of garlic now when I do garlic for something like this I use the refrigerated squeezed garlic because it's all chopped up and minced really fine and uh, then salt of course smells so good this is 
probably going to be my favorite, but we'll see. Mix it good because it's being stubborn, but that's okay. We can still brush it on our corn. Nothing has to be perfect. I learned that a long time ago. Okay, we're going into number four. I have fresh herbs growing in, on my porch. They're pot herbs. Um, I love them for cooking and then I save them in uh, ice cube containers, fresh with some olive oil on the top, freeze them, crack them and put them into a um, plastic bag and then you can have fresh herbs all year long for your cooking. This is a couple leaves of basil. I think I put three leaves. And a teaspoon of thyme, which is um, probably about four stems. And you take the stems and you take the little lime leaves off. If they're tender stems, you can cut them up. Uh, half a teaspoon of rosemary. Go easy on the rosemary. It's very strong. Garlic. Again, my refrigerated garlic, or one teaspoon of garlic powder, if you don't have the grated garlic, and salt, of course. Now this may mix a little bit better. All it is is the herbs and garlic and the salt. This is non-salted butter. supposed to cook with non-salted butter anyway. Now I'm seeing that I could have, could have probably added more herbs in this. What you do is you can uh, put this on a parchment paper or saran wrap, plastic wrap, and kind of fold it up, roll it up into a roll, freeze it. Last but not least, this one is the one I had to use the tube butter and man, it really melted. I would, I would say use the sticks if you can. But this is going to mix up probably better than the other ones. So uh, what I have here is your favorite barbecue rub. Butter, of course. And no salt. It's already got salt in it. No garlic. It's already got garlic powder in it. So we're going to mix this up. Just call me the crazy lady like my kids do. Yeah, this is mixing real good. Probably because it didn't have the juices in it. Okay, I have five years of corn. I'm going to show you how I wrap them for the grill. Some people put them directly on the, the grill to make them blackened. But I did that one day and I left them on there too long and they turned out like hard, really hard. So I like to wrap them in foil. Now you get foil about this size and what I do is I put it near this edge here and I'm going to do the first butter which was the Asian and I'm just going to brush this on like this. Now this will melt down around your corn when it's cooking. It's almost like painting. Now you can follow it up with some salt, but I prefer to maybe add the salt at the end. Sorry, I had to lick it. Okay, that tastes really good. Okay, here I go. I take the corn, I used to take it like this and fold it over, but then I couldn't get the corn out of the foil. So I learned to just roll it over like this with the ends. Now it's not going to matter if you got some butter melting out on the grill. It doesn't matter. Okay, we're going to take the second one and then I'll, after this one, I'll go to the, um, I'll finish this up and go to the grill. This is the honey lemon. This butter is really spreading really good on these corns. I think it's better than regular butter. 
I miss regular butter, but these butters, these plant-based butters made by reputable com companies, pass the test. Okay, there's our second one again. I roll it up like this. Twist the ends. There's our second one. Now the reason I do it this way is because I can, when I get it off the hot grill, I can just untwist the ends. Sometimes you have to use tongs. And then it just rolls out. You don't have that fold. Okay, I'm going to finish the rest of these. And then I'll put them on the grill for about 12 minutes, turning them as we go along. And then I'll come back and show you the finished product. Hi, we're back. I grilled the corn in the, in the aluminum foil. And the way I wrapped it up, I just could untwist the ends a little bit. And then just it just rolled right out. I just pulled it up. Now, I didn't label them. So we were trying to figure out which one was which because they all look the same. So I'm going to go ahead and taste them and I can tell by taste and smell which one I'm eating. This is the first one. Let me see what. This is definitely the Asian. Second one. Oh, it's hot. <laughs> this is the honey lemon. Third one. This actually tastes like the barbecue one. Then we have the herb one because you can see the herbs on it. Now you can slather more butter on these when you take them out of the the um, off the grill. You can put more butter on them, and I also like to sprinkle salt, but that's a prerogative for everybody. And then this is the herb, and then last but not least, the barbecue. Okay, really, I'm going to have to go for favorite one is the Asian with the soy sauce in it because I love Asian. Second one is going to be the chili lime. Okay, my husband voted for the Asian or the lemon honey lime. So you can make your choice. Okay, now don't waste this. What I want you to do is, I got these little containers, they're glad, the little tiny ones, and you want to put these in there, put the lid on and put them in the freezer. You don't want to waste this because you can just grab a can of green beans and throw some of this on. Uh, let it thaw out for a little bit. And then throw it in your vegetables. Uh, the plant-based butter is basically a lot of oil, so you can use that. And then put the lid on, freeze it, take it out when you have vegetables as a perfect additive. Make your choice. If you don't like what I made, make what make what I I made that you liked. A lot of people don't like certain things. Now. My cousin Donna just learned about how she likes Asian food with a soy sauce. She made fried rice. So I'm dedicating that to her. Now, I want to thank you for joining us. I hope your summer is filled with fun and joy. And come back and see us again. Push that subscribe button. Push the bell button so you can see my next videos. And I have a bunch of surprises coming up. So tune in next time, and I'll see you. Leave me comments as to what I did or what you would change or how I did stuff. This is completely dairy-free.
So come back and see us again. Thank you. Bye.